Hello everyone, my name is Nikhilesh. I welcome you to my channel RP Techno Hub. In this session, we're going to learn about flowchart activity in UiPath. At first, we'll see what flowchart activity is, how it is different from sequence activity, when we use flowchart, about circular looping, and then we'll see a simple use case to get hands-on. If you are new to my channel or haven't subscribed to it, please do subscribe to get notified on my new videos. In case if you have missed my previous videos, I have provided the links in the description. Now let's get started to see what flowchart activity is in UiPath. What is flowchart activity? Flowchart activity is a activity container within which we can design the graphical representation of the workflow. How it is different from sequence activity. So we have been using sequence activity so far quite frequently in the previous videos, right? So sequence activity is also a container activity within which we can have sequence of activities placed one after other. So if you want to design the graphical representation of the workflow that cannot be done using sequence, right? So let, now let me just show you the flowchart activity. Just type in flow in activities pane and here you will get the flowchart activity. Just drag and drop the flowchart activity on the canvas and uh, just expand it. So this is the place where you can design the graphical representation of the workflow. And uh, I'll just name this as groceries flowchart. And I will take three variables under it. And when do we go for flowchart? So if you have a flow, the high level flow that requires to be shown to the user or uh, to make the flow readable, then you will go for flowchart. So here I'm just going to create three variables under uh, groceries flowchart, namely new bill. So which will uh, store if user wants to uh, add a new bill and then bill amount, which will store the bill amount that he wants to add as a new bill in 32 is the type of that uh, variable. And then I will add total bill to show it to the user at the end. So this is also of type in 32. Now I got three variables created under a grocery flowchart with the, no default values in it. Now let me just ask user if he wants to add a new bill. So using input dialog. So input dialog is a dialog box that appears on the screen to ask user if he wants to add a new bill. So let me just name this as new bill hyphen input dialog. If you want to have this input dialog placed in the name, you can place it or you can delete it. So, so this is going to be the header of the input dialog. Wanna add a, wanna add a new bill. So here I will say, do you want to add a, uh, another, another bill, question mark. And uh, uh, so if he wants to add a new bill, right, that requires to be stored in a variable. So whatever the value that enters, that is entered by the user requires to be stored in a variable. So I have already created a variable for that. Let me just type in new. So I'm just selecting new bill. So the value will get stored inside this new bill. And let me just click on main. So this is how uh, the flow is, the sequence is, right? So main grasses flowchart under which we have got uh, input dialog and uh, that we are currently configuring it, right? So we have just configured it. Let me just go back to main, right? And uh, so here you need to link the activities. So this is going to be the first activity, right? So let me just right click on it and set a start node. So now it is linked to start and flowchart always starts its execution from the start node or start activity. So now I have uh, taken uh, the confirmation from uh, user. And so now we have to check if he has entered Y or something else to proceed further with the workflow. So 
I need to take a decision, right? So for that, let me just type in flow. So this flow decision can be used within flow chart only. This activity can be used within flow chart. Let me just drag and drop flow decision here and check if user entered Y or not. New bill is equal to capital Y. So if he enters capital Y, then I should let him execute, let him add in, add the bill, right? So I have just uh, connected it, right? You have seen it. So I have just connected this to flow decision. And uh, so if he enters Y, right? I will again ask him to enter the bill amount. So using input dialog again. Yeah. So let me just enter bill amount. Okay, so how you can do this bill amount uh, input dialog? Just double click it. Enter bill amount, and here I will say, please enter bill amount that he wants to find the total bill for right so one of the bills and the bill amount and this requires to be stored in a variable i have already created a variable for that that is bill amount just type in bill bill amount so that is going to be stored inside the, the bill amount integer variable right let me go back to main again and he entered the bill amount and then uh, we have to add it to the total bill to figure out the total bill right so let me just use assign activity for that just type in assign yeah assign and here total bill is equal to total bill is equal to total bill plus the bill amount okay so let me just connect this here So if he enters Y, this uh, we need to ask user to enter the bill amount and then we need to find out the total bill. And this requires to be repeated. That is called circular looping, right? So this requires to be repeated as uh, until he completes all the individual groceries, right? Until he bills for all the groceries that he purchased. So now I'm just connecting it to new bill. So what will happen is that, so it will uh, he will enter the amount and uh, it will be added to the total bill. And again, the user will be asked to uh, ask for the confirmation if he want, if he has got another bill to be added. So that way it will proceed. And at the end, when he doesn't enter Y, it will take no path, right? So here I will use box, that is message box. Just type in box here, we'll get the message box on top of the list, this drag and drop over here. Okay, so here I'm just assigning total bill, total bill assign, assign. and here I will say uh, print total bill. Okay, print total bill, message box or whatever. You can, you can uh, remove the message box if you want. So here I'll just double click and I will use total bill dot to string so we have completed uh, the process now let me just execute so let me just link this so this is required to be linked right so you need to explicitly link so if the condition is false so if the condition is true the user will be asked to enter uh, the bill amount and then uh, the total bill will be figured out and then uh, again it will be Ask for the confirmation if he wants to add a new bill. If yes, uh, he will be asked to enter a bill amount and then total will be added to that. The bill amount will be added to the total bill and that way it will be circularly looped through until he presses other than Y, right? Let me just show you that practically uh, just by executing it, right? Let me just do F5 in uh, that I'm running it in a debug mode. So now you can see here that uh, uh, it is asking me to uh, confirm if you if I want to add a new bill. So I'll just say capital Y, 
click OK. And now it is asking me to enter a bill amount. So now we are here actually, right? So let me just enter 10. So, and again, I'll be asked. So now I have been uh, asked to enter, uh, confirm if I want to add another bill. So I'll say yes again. And this time I'll say uh, 230. So 230 plus 10, that should be 240, right? And again, I'm, I'm, I'm asking, uh, I'm being asked to confirm if I want to add a new bill. So I'm just saying yes again. And this time I'll say 230 plus 10, 240 plus and then 20. So that should be 260, right? And this time I will say, I do not want to add. So all the grosses are finished and just let me know the total bill of all the groceries. So this time I'll say N or something else, right? Other than Y, whatever you enter, that will take no path here. That is false path. So let just make click, uh, let me just click uh, OK here. And here you got the total bill. That is 260, right? And this is how uh, you can uh, work with flowchart. So this is a graphical representation. Now you can looking at it, right? So you can easily understand what is happening with a graphical representation, right? So this is about uh, the flow chart. Uh, if you think the session is informative, please click on like button, share it with your friends, and do not forget to subscribe to my channel. And also click the bell icon to get notified on my new videos. Thank you.